الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن الحمد لله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مذل له ومن يذل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد فقال الله سبحانه وتعالى عز وجل بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به ورحم إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا وقال أيضا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال أيضا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما صدق الله العظيم My dear brothers and sisters we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the great ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to celebrate Eid after Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our ibadat insha'Allah. It is indeed a great number from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have completed the entire Ramadan in Siyam and Qiyam. And after that hard work, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with Eid. And the purpose of Eid is to give celebration and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give praise and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That it is only through the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is only through the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It has nothing to do with my ability, my strength, my health, my know-how. Has nothing to do with me. It is only through the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm able to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unless we understand this our iman is da'if our iman is weak we have to understand my dear brothers and sisters whatever Allah has subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us in this life whatever career we have it is not because of my akal of my wisdom and my smartness that I have that I've achieved what I've got in life unless we recognize who give us and where it came from then my dear brothers and sisters we have become one of the ungrateful people on the earth we have to recognize it is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is not my sweat my hard work my know-how how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says a man is blessed for dunya wal akhirat if he's, a man is truly blessed in this world and akhirat if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with three qualities uh, three qalbun shakirin a man whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a heart that is grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what's the use of a heart if the heart does not give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if this heart is not contended with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this heart is in darkness if it doesn't 
acknowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is my creator. Man rabbuk, man rabbuk. We will not be able to answer. We have the answer in our aql, in our mind. But this answer, man rabbuk will only come if we were able to understand, if we were able to recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya. That is the only way, my dear brothers and sisters. That is the only way, my dear brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us tawfiq in the qabr, in our grave, to say, Allahu Rabbi. We will never be able to understand and to reply to the angel when he says, Man Rabbuk. Unless we live a life in this dunya, recognizing from our heart that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us everything in this world. Kalbun shakir wa lisanun dhakir. When Allah gives you a contented heart, a thankful heart, second Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, a man is truly blessed in this life if you have a tongue that give dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that says, Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal, no matter what my condition is, no matter what my condition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I recognize that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for every ni'mah, for every ni'mah that I receive from my tongue, I say, Alhamdulillah. No matter if I'm sick, no matter if I'm sick, no matter if they take away my job, no matter if my business is gone, uh, no matter what family condition I have, when somebody say to you, Kayf haluk, how are you? You say, Alhamdulillah. Unless we recognize Alhamdulillah and we say Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, then the condition of our tongue is not Lisan and Zakir. Ah. And the third one is that person whom Allah has blessed with a pious spouse. Ah. Allah has blessed you with a pious spouse who is obedient, ah. who is obedient not only to you, but to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A spouse that protects the honor in your absence, a spouse that protects your property in your absence, a man who has been given these things, these three things, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, you are truly blessed with dunya wal akhirat. Uh, so my neighbors, count them, check them. Am I blessed with all these three things? If you are, you are the most blessed man on the surface of the earth. Because our kalam, the word of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, huwa haq. Uh, it is only the truth you will say. If you check these three things, it has nothing to do with business, nothing to do with mal, nothing to do with wealth. It is only the recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, it is only the recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear brothers and sisters, on this day, on this day, apart from rejoicing, enjoyment, it's all outward. Eating, drinking, celebrating, wearing beautiful clothing, using etr. It is all outward. But as believers, we, and we know that Islam is built from inside out, not from outside in. The condition of our heart on this day is of two things. One, the heart should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? The heart should be grateful to Allah, especially in this part of the world especially in this part of the world where we are short of nothing what excuse do we have for not fasting what excuse do we have for not making qiyamul layl if allah has given you good health none our brothers and sisters who are suffering all the world who can only afford a piece of bread and water they are making the juhud and the sacrifice to make siyam we have luxury, three course and five course suhoor, yet still we cannot fast. Allah's, our refrigerator is full of food, but we cannot fast. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and protect us inshallah. That those of us who have not used Ramadan to get their sins forgiven, 
may, may we renew our niyyah that next year if I live and Allah has given me strength, I will fast insha'Allah the complete month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all those brothers and sisters who have made the sacrifice to wake up in the early morning to be obedient to Allah for no other reason. When you wake up to eat your suhoor, sacrificing your bed to make qiyam, it is only and only for your Rabb. No one else, only for your Rabb. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. And secondly, after we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is very important, we should have done that last night, the night of Eid, where we make two rakat of shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only, not only for allowing us for Ramadan, but for every accomplishment in this dunya that Allah has given us. Uh, everything. If Allah has blessed you with a pious spouse, you make two rakat of shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If Allah has blessed you with obedient children who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you give two rakat of shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're able to give sadaqah because Allah has given you wealth, you're able to pay zakat in the month of Ramadan, give two rakat shukr to Allah. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have blessed me with wealth and I'm using it only for your pleasure. Uh, Give shukr to Allah, my dear brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِلَنَّكُمْ uh, You will never, never be poor. Allah will never bring poverty upon you so long you have your soul in your body. If you continue to give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever He has given you in this world. Do not be ungrateful. Ungratefulness brings the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bring hardship from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A man who is struggling in life, check your nafs. Am I grateful? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made an oath. If my servant is thankful, this Allah has given us a promise. I will never see you go hungry. I will never see you homeless. I will never see you as a beggar. I will give you and I will continue to give you until you die. Secondly, is to have hope. As believers, we have hope. Hope in what? Many of us have hope. As we grow in life, we have hope. As a young man, we have hope. As a teenager, we have hope. We have many teenagers here. MashaAllah, what are the hopes to get into a good college, to be accepted in a good school, to be able to achieve their dreams of becoming a doctor, engineer, whatever. Everybody have hope in the dunya. As a father, what hope do we have? I hope that to see my children get married and have good college education, MashaAllah. So Allah give them hayat and tayyibah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us and our children hayat and tayyibah insha'Allah. Say Ameen. This life is a test my dear brothers and sisters. But yet still we have hope. Hope is good. Huh? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to be hopeless is haram. To be hopeless in haram. But what kind of hope is he talking about? He's not talking about hope for dunya. Aspiration of dunya, no. Even though that is good, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not speaking about hope in dunya. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is speaking about akhirat, the hereafter, when we will stand before our Rabb, one on one, no spouse, no children, no parents. I will be with my Rabb one on one, my dear brothers and sisters. This is the hope. What hope should we have at that moment when you stand in front of your Rabb? Huh? The hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with us. The hope that when I stand in front of my Rabb, that my Rabb will not be angry with me. That my Rabb will give me afia. That my Rabb will forgive me. That my Rabb 
will conceal my fault in this world in front of everyone that my rod will allow me to cross the rod with the speed of lightning that hook that is the hook or Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is talking about the hope of Allah's acceptance of our good action we have done our action mashallah we have fasted we have did qiyam we have did sadaqat we have did zikr we have did khairat the entire moon 30 days is not easy now we make dua and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his acceptance of those amal as believers we do a lot of amal but also we need to know how to preserve those amal many people many people when they will stand in front of Allah on the day of Yawm al Qiyamah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell the angels open the book of good deeds some books the page after page will be empty we will say to Allah Ya Rabb but I fasted I made Qiyam I perform Hajj Ya Rabb I made Qiyam where are my good deeds they have not been written in some cases they will be written but they will not be accepted this will be a man who will be in serious problem in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us a very beautiful dua given to us by Aisha radiallahu anha Allahumma hasibni hisaban yaseera ya Rabb Allahumma hasibni hisaban yaseera ya Rabb ya ilahi bless me with a easy hisab uh, do not make my monashab do not make it difficult for me Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says when Allah will start to question you and question you then you will be doomed but when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell the angel close the book close the book and hand him in his right hand in front of him wallahi this will be the most joyous time for a believer because this will be a sign of Allah's forgiveness of him this will be a sign that Allah is pleased with you huh? so let us be among those who give thanks to Allah on this day and those who hope that Allah will show us with his mercy this hope that we need to have in our heart should never die do not be hopeless and die hopeless no matter what sin we have committed no matter what wrong we have committed Shaitan instilled in the heart of people to be hopeless because of the sin they have committed. Many people will not, because of this hopelessness, will give up. A man never prays so in his life. Shaitan keeps telling him when he decides to make that turn. In his old age, Shaitan will say, what's the purpose now? You have lived 60, 70 years of sin. Do you think it's worth it now? And the man will fall into hopelessness and he will die hopelessness. Hmm. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Ya ibadi, Ya ibadi, لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله يا عبادي الذين أنفسوا لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله إنه غفور إنه هو الغفور الرحيم Oh my servant Oh my slave 
do not despair of the mercy of Allah innahu huwal ghafur rahim when this ayat was revealed companions were the happiest people on earth this ayat of mercy and rahmah from Allah excel any ayat of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this ayat this verse give us hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our brothers and sisters in Palestine their lands have been taken away our message to them do not give up hope that Allah will give you victory inshallah our sisters in India who are asked to give up the hijab do not give up hope Allah will give you victory inshallah our brothers and sisters in China who are asked to give up the identity of being a Muslim do not give up Allah will give you victory inshallah our brothers and sisters in Kashmir in Burma in all over the world my dear brothers and sisters do not give up do not give up on the mercy of Allah on the hope that Allah will give you some victory inshallah they will always light at the end of the tunnel companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for years the persecution in Makkah some of them could not bear anymore when would the victory of Allah come they are asking when will the victory of Allah come Mata Nasrullah they question uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in just a few years give them an entire city of Medina as their home Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in turn give them Mecca as a victory to the believers it takes sabr it takes patience my dear brothers and sisters it is very important my dear brothers and sisters that in this time of trial and I will end with this we are living in grave time the time where the entire world is against us no matter where we live as fathers as mothers the only thing that will save us is our Iman the level of our Iman the strength of our Iman as fathers we need to spend time with our children with our spouse find ways and means how they can develop the Iman because there will come a time in this country we are looking at what is happening in other parts of the world is slowly slowly coming to this country where your identity as Muslim will be tarnished if you are weak and we have seen it before in the past if you are weak you will sell your Iman for a cheap price many people did sell their Iman for a cheap price the only thing the greatest gift that Allah can give us in this life it is not our business it is not our family it is not our wealth the greatest gift that Allah can give anyone in this dunya is Iman when you are blessed with Iman then you are truly blessed by Allah Allah give even the kuffar wealth huh? Allah give even the atheist wealth but Allah did not give them Iman a mukmin who is a beggar a mukmin who is homeless who is living in the streets have nothing but the clothes on his skin but Allah give him Iman Wallahi in the eyes of Allah he is more honor he is more honor than the most wealthy man who has no Iman in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because my dear brothers and sisters when we face Allah on the day of Yom al Qiyamah there will be two groups of people Allah will divide insan with two groups 
one with Iman and one without Iman. The one without, with, without Iman, then his heart will be quickly Jahannam. Iman will save us. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, even if you were able to recite before your death, La ilaha illallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you your sin. Bil ikhlasu niyyah. Man qala la ilaha illallah. Bil ikhlas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant him jannah insha'Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in his dying bed on his, for his uncle. And he says, oh my uncle, just recite this phrase. Just recite the kalimat. I will plead on your behalf on the day of Yom al Qiyamah. Oh, he was pleading to his uncle. We have Iman. The man who supported our Nabi for 40 years did not have Iman and died without Iman. Mm. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us take this, take this day and rejoice and forgive others. As I said a few nights ago, we will do all the good deeds and all the fasting and all the tiyam and all the sadaqah, but they will be suspended on one condition, that if we have ill feeling between siblings, between brothers and family, between our aunts, between our parents, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell the angel, do not write his good deeds, do not record his good deeds until he reconcile with his family members. Sinatul Rahim On this day of Eid I want all the children Who are not talking with their parents Because of some issue uh, To embrace their father and their mother And tell them I have, Forgive me what I have done Wallahi If our parents do not forgive us We are doomed the sacrifice our fathers has made for us. The hours he had worked and toiled in this country for us. To make sure we have everything in the home. To make sure we have a good education. Never sympathize with your parents. Your mother has toiled day and night for us. Do not turn your back on them. If you are not talking with your siblings, your brothers and sisters. Today is a day to turn to them. Even though, even though they wrong you, you want Allah to accept your good deeds. Even though they wrong you, go to them, embrace them. Tell them whatever this difference we have, let us put it away. Let us throw it away. Let us mend this relationship. Huh? If we are not talking to our aunts and our uncle, we need to mend relationship on this day. Before sunset on the day of Eid, we need to reconcile with family members and Allah will command the angel, now write his good deeds. Then Allah will only accept it when we mend. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our amal. May Allah bless us. On this day, may Allah forgive all of our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us genital for the dos. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brothers and sisters all over the world who are struggling. May Allah remove their struggle, inshallah. May Allah make life easy for them wherever they are. We pray for them. At least, the least we can do is pray for them. Huh? Whatever sadaqah, whatever help we can give. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, soften our heart to help our brothers and sisters. Aquli kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fa astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا مولانا محمد 
sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in inna allaha wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabiy ya ayyuhalladhina amanu sallu alaihi wa sallimu taslima allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid wa barik ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim fil alamin innaka hamidum majid إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم ولا ذكر الله أكبر Let us raise our hands and make dua إن شاء الله الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا نكوننا من الخاسرين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين رب جلي مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريات ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا كفيني ونوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يكون الحساب رب رحمهما كما ربنا صغيرا رب رحمهما كما ربنا صغيرا يا رحمن يا رحيم يا رحمن يا رحيم يا ذو الجلال والإكرام هو الله سبحانه وتعالى يبيس رحمة بيك يا الله we thank you for all the favors you have blessed us, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not remove, do not take away your ni'mah that you have given us, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keep up those ni'mah until we die, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, we beg of you for our parents, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our parents who have gone and left this world, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, forgive them in your qabr, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, put nur in your qabr, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you have wronged them, O Allah, forgive us, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, in the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah, raise them among the mu'mineen and muslimin, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, raise them among the Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, our father and our mother, who will leave this world, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, unite us in Jannah al-Fiddaus, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those of us who have got our parents alive. O Allah, let us be obedient to them, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Let us be obedient children to our parents, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us not hurt their feelings, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jannah al-Firdaus lies on the feet of thy mother, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, let them, let them don't be angry with us, Ya Rabbul Alameen. On this day of Eid, Ya Rabbul Alameen, whatever wrong you have done to my parents, O Allah, forgive me, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We beg of you for our parents, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O Allah, whatever mistake they have done, Ya Allah, forgive them, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Forgive them for all they have done, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until my eye close Let me be an obedient child to my parents Ya Rabbul Alameen O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let them be happy with me Ya Rabbul Alameen Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Dhul Jalal, Ya Rahman O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if I have hurt any one of my family members O oh Allah forgive me Ya Rabbul Alameen If I have hurt any one from the Mu'mineen and the Muslimin Ya Rabbul Alameen If I have hurt any one in this Jama'a Ya Rabbul Alameen forgive me Ya Rabbul Alameen يا رحمن يا رحيم يا ذو الجلال والإكرام ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وقنا عذاب القبر يا رب وقنا عذاب القبر يا رب I will be alone in my قبر يا رب والله there will be no one with me in my قبر if you do not give me nur in my qabr, Ya Allah, my grave will be dark, Ya Rabb. Oh Allah, let my amal surround me, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, let my zakat be with me, Ya Allah. Let my siyam be with me, Ya Rabb. Let my salat be with me, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, when I leave this world, Ya Rabbul Alameen, oh Allah, protect my family, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're getting old, we're leaving this world. 
O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever wrong we have done in this world, Ya Allah, knowing and unknowing, Ya Rabbul Alameen, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive us and have mercy upon us, Ya Rabbul. Allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibbul afuwa fafu anna, Ya Rabb. Allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibbul afuwa fafu anna, Ya Rabb. Allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibbul afuwa fafu anna, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Rahman Rahim, Ya Zulun Jalali wal Ikram, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have made so many sins in this world, you have covered my sins. Oh Allah, more so. Oh Allah, more so on the day of Yom Oh Allah, cover my sins, Ya Rabbi. Oh Allah, do not expose my wrongdoings, Ya Rabbi. Ya Rabbi. Ya Ilahi. Oh Allah. Oh Allah, will I stand before you? Do not be angry with me, Ya Rabbi. I have no one to turn to besides you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. On the day of Yom Al-Qiyamah, no one will be there with me, Allah. If you deprive me of your mercy, oh Allah, I'm doomed. Ya Rabb. Forgive our children, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Oh Allah, guide them to Salat al-Mustaqeem, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Oh Allah, let them live and die with Iman, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, let it die in your obedience, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect them from the fitna of this world, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, O oh Allah, we beg of you. That all of us, let us earn halal earnings, Ya Rabbul Alameen. So that we feed our children halal earnings, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we told halal earning, Ya Rabbul Alameen. We are doomed, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Let us not feed this body that worships you with haram, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Dhul Jalali, Ya Ikram. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we beg of you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. To cause all of us, Ya Allah, to unite in your Jannah to Firdaus, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Dhul Jalali wa Ikram. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All those are brothers and sisters who are suffering all over the world, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Who are brothers in Palestine, who are brothers and sisters in China, in Burma. Ya Rabbul Alameen, in India. Ya Rabbul Alameen, in Kashmir. O Allah, wherever they are. Our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, protect them, O oh Allah, protect them, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Let them be victorious, Ya Rabbul Alameen, above the enemies, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Dhul Jalali, Ya Ikram. O oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are weak, make them strong, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, make them strong, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect the Iman in these trial times, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb. O oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless them with hayat and tayyibah, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, give them sustenance, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Especially our brothers and sisters in Yemen, O oh Allah, who are starving, have no food to eat, have no bread to eat, have no water to drink. O oh Allah, subhan anta razaq, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, they believe in you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, they worship you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, sustain them, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, do not let them go hungry, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. O oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, if any one of us who are sick, O oh Allah, give us shifa, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Or parents who are sick, grant them shifa, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Or family members who are sick, grant them shifa, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb. If we are going through trials and tribulation on our marriage, O oh Allah, protect our marriages, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect our marriages, Ya Rabbul Alameen. O oh Allah, protect us from the fitna of this world, Ya Rabbul Alameen. If we are going through problems with our business, Ya Rabbul Alameen, our jobs, Ya Rabbul Alameen, O oh Allah, we beg you in the day of Eid, with du'as are accepted, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Remove those difficulties, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Make it easy for us, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. We beg of you, Ya Rabbul Alameen, give us good health and give us good strength so that we, be, we may be obedient to you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Let us use our strength to be obedient to you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Let us not use our strength and our health to be disobedient to you, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Dhul Jalali wa Ikram. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiyun alim. Wa tuba alayna ya Mawlana inna ka anta tawabur rahim. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati ya maisifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahmin. Ye mubarak. Kulu antum amun khair insha'Allah. Abba Allahu minkum insha'Allah. Jamian, please embrace each other.